As we continue to face extreme weather events, Scripps researchers say their latest findings expose the need to think and rethink public policy. The study shows the combination of extreme heat and wildfires disproportionately harms less affluent communities and communities of color. CBS 8's Jenny Day spoke with one of the scientists and joins us now with more. Jenny. Yeah, sadly, no surprise. Statistics are worse along the border than along the coast. This is after tracking 13 years of data, and that's why scientists say it is so important to document. This is not okay. We need to do something about that. We are not normally inundated with rain, so as we wait for the floodwaters to recede and homes to dry out, a new study focuses on what typically plagues us the most, extreme heat and wildfires. As a citizen, uh, I feel outraged. As a scientist working on these issues for a long time, this is just not surprised. Scientists at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego analyzed health records from when these two extreme weather events took place at the same time, between 2006 and 2019. Their findings show increased damage to people's hearts and respiratory systems, especially, they say, in zip codes where people were likely to have lower incomes, a higher proportion of racial and ethnic minorities, be more crowded, and less likely to have health insurance, air conditioning, or access to green outdoor spaces. We really found this kind of south versus north kind of contrast in terms of vulnerability to this joint impact. For example, scientists say if you compare Chula Vista to La Jolla, you won't find the same vulnerability. And experiencing both climate hazards on the same day creates a synergistic impact. Worldwide, extreme heat causes an estimated 360,000 deaths annually. The fine particles in smoke kill as many as 680,000 people a year. Both conditions are now more common. Extreme heat is dangerous, uh, wildfire smoke is dangerous, but when they happen at the same time, it's just something else. It's even more dangerous. He says these are the effects of climate change and predicts extreme weather will become more frequent, so we have to adapt to improve public health and rethink the way our urban and suburban living spaces are designed. This is two issues that should be treated at the same time. Their research comes with recommendations. For example, provide earlier warnings to the public and provide both cooling and clean air centers. To see where your zip code ranks, head to CBS8.com. For CBS8, I'm Jenny Day.